Hey, this is Mike. Um, we have another gun that came in this week. I know we did the Virock 55M a couple days ago, and um, in the mail we had this rifle on its way. And actually, I have another item coming. So let's take a look at this. This here is another well-known rifle. I spared the box opening. Um, but the guy cocooned it as you can see now hold on to your seats we'll have to do a couple segments because first thing we'll need to do is make sure it actually works so you're looking at the air arms pro elite now i can tell you right now you're strung underneath here on the butt pads is just a wee bit of markings from somebody bumping it other than that the gun looks amazing the blue one is really nice um you know you got to watch it when you look at pictures and stuff because a lot of times the pictures make things look a lot worse than they actually are when you get them in person anyway um we're gonna have to do a couple segments just to make sure this works i'll do a little segment outside where you can actually see the rifle this was an ebay item and I just couldn't let it go by. And you're gonna probably wonder, but um, at the same time, there was a broken Pro Elite. After I bought this one, there was a broken Pro Elite on the AA with the stock. Now broken, I mean the stock was broken right here on the one I'm talking about for 129. And I gave that a little bit of a thought. And I thought, well, for 129, did the guy smash the rifle because it didn't work you know some of these had the bad air chambers i don't know the full report on them but some of them had bad uh, air chambers and um there had some issues where they needed to be honed out i took a chance the guy said it worked it shot you know what's a pawn shop guy I know half the time so i got this in and i saw that one on aa for 129 a broken pro elite it was broken right in half and i thought we're going to take a chance because you can get a stock for a pro elite you can get one from the uk they'll make you a custom walnut stock for it as a matter of fact those stocks are even on ebay right now but anyway let's go through this real quick um and then we'll take it outside into the daylight let's first thing we're going to do is break it make sure it's not loaded right boy this is a beautiful gun now amazingly they say these guns are heavy but i could tell you after handling the hats and magnums and stuff like that it doesn't feel that heavy to me anymore it actually feels great yeah there's a little weight to it there's no doubt about it so let's take a quick look the um, overall appearance there's a little scratch here there's a little teeny neck here nothing to sneeze at i mean you gotta buy these guns to shoot them if you're going to collect them then maybe you'll never have any but uh because it's just hard to get something that's pristine condition this is a beautiful rifle now i had one before but i had to sell it so we'll have to do um another video clip let's let's go out to where we can actually see it and we'll get a closer look at it let me just go real slow into it So with my eyes, I can see the rifle in from here. <laughs> I don't know what's going to show up on the camera. But when I broke it open and flung it all the way back, it was just beautiful to see. What a quality gun. I don't think you can see it really, to be honest with you. All right, we'll go to another clip. Well, there she is a beautiful pro elite in this last bit of sunlight so let's go take a closer look there's just a little mark there the gun has a couple little marks here and there for me it really doesn't matter it doesn't bother me at all the blue one's very nice it needs to be wiped down i can tell you that there's another little mark there all this looks great right let's take a look at some of this blue one 
So there's a mark there above the breech block, but that's just from the um, piston seal um, right there. Not the piston seal, but the breech seal. Some of the gases over time passing through. That'll wipe out. The gun's blue and looks pretty good. It just needs a wipe down. I haven't seen any pitting, so to speak. Um, let's go around this side here. I don't know if you can see the actual barrel. The barrel sleeves are pretty cool. And when you buy these guns, you often take a chance because they do come, there's a little mark right there, no big deal. This side here has, um, I'm gonna turn it over real quick, has pretty much most of the markings. There's the scratch there, little dip here, little, little nothings. You know, there's something right there. Nothing on the back. The grain's nice, the color's nice. The butt pad looks really nice as well. Uh, we're gonna flip it up real quick. Most of the um, wear is right here, just a little bit of nothing, as far as I'm concerned. Um, unless you're a collector, of course, but um, so we'll go down a little bit. Everything's nice to me. I love it. It looks great. A little bit of nothing there. Look at the fine mechanics. The, you can always tell a finely made gun. It just looks and feels fantastic. There's that. So we'll turn her back. Now we'll get a little look up on the blue one. Oh no, there's that breech block again. You can see that little smudge. That's just from the uh, breech seal passing. There's your block, nice and clean. Now I didn't wipe this down at all. This is how I, what you see is what I got. So we'll go back this way. This is just a dirt smear, can be wiped down. The uh, letter, and I'm not sure they're all painted white and some of it's worn away. I can't really tell, but I know the uh, air arm says is white's worn the pro elite doesn't seem to have any and there of course is your made in england the scope rail is actually clean it's it's uh, i mean as far as markings what you're seeing there is just dirt that, that'll clean right up so it's actually in very good condition you can see the holes as well when i shot this i tested it she was getting um what was it 770 and a little less on some of the other shots and that's probably um, due, it probably needs a new piston seal. The spring had a lot of twang, but boy did that trigger, that trigger was set to be on sweet. Just a soft, sweet, a little squeeze and she fired. Now I have to say how I came about getting this gun is there was a member, Johnny Piston, hey John, um, I felt that you didn't want this being you were not liking what you saw. Um, John was looking for a Pro Elite 22. He put a couple ads up and I responded and said, hey, there's one on AA. But that turned out to be his own ad looking for one. It's just that the way it was written, it looked like somebody was saying, hey, I have one. But then I found one on the eBay and that was this one. And I wrote him a bad and said, hey, there's one on eBay. And Johnny mentioned the fact that he thought it looked beat up from the, I guess from the pictures. Often the pictures, I think I said this before, will make something look worse than it is. Kind of like me. If you look at me in these videos, I look horrible. In person, I look a lot better. But anyway, you get the point. Um, so this is definitely one of those cases. Now I'm the type of guy, I don't care, you know? I mean, I don't, I don't need things to be perfect. Um, you know, it depends on what it is, and I'm fine, perfectly fine with it. But anyway, so she's under par as far as feet per second. I believe, from what I read, they get 820. Now, you do take a chance with these because these did have those problems with the air chamber, and some of them had to get honed out. And I don't know the story, but I think it was the problem was enough that they, A said they are not going to make another brake barrel. But anyway, they also made them in 177, and I believe the 177 was the rarer caliber. Not too many were made. But anyway, I would rather have the 22, to be honest with you. So we're going to take this uh, when we get to it. When it's its turn, I got so many 
fires in the fire, not fires, but irons in the fire. So many things, they're just all stacked up with things to do and things to finish. But when we get a chance, uh, we'll get into this. We'll put the new piston seal in it, clean it up, lube it, and we're going to make a custom spring guide and probably get another spring and do a crony test on it. This is a fabulous gun. There's nothing like a well-made gun. I, I was looking at the breech. I'm going to do another. Oh, actually, I did a video clip of the breech already, but the breech locks up like a bank vault. The whole gun is just well made. But anyway, Johnny Piston, didn't, you didn't seem like you were interested um, from what, how you responded. And I thought, well, you know what? That gun looks fine to me. I'll take a chance. I'll get it. That stuff doesn't bother me. So I made up my mind what I wanted to spend on it. And um, I wound up being the lucky bidder. So you might want to know, I know we normally don't mention money, but since it's a pro elite, a uh, bit of a rare rifle, I got it for four, what is it, 464 shipped. The guy wrapped it really good, did a great job. Um, I'm very happy with all that. And I think the, that's a really good, that's a decent buy. But like I said, coming from a pawn shop, you really risk, you don't know. Um, you know, they said they fired it and they heard it had a big pop. Well, that could have been dry fired for all you know. I don't know. But anyway, this is Mike saying when we get the broken one in, I'll do a video of that. And then down the road, we'll do a video of the gun, maybe going over it and making a custom guide. And um, who knows what. But I do know one thing. When I do retire, boy, I'm going to have a lot of guns to shoot and um, have a good time with. Because <laughs> I sure have a lot. But anyway, thanks for hanging out, and please be safe, and take care.